Hey guys, what is up? So I currently am trying to get out of the house right now. I'm also selling, I'm trying to sell all my clutter that I've had over the past years and stuff like camera equipment and just other just equipment, I guess. Um, so I'm actually gonna head out now. Uh, I gotta meet this lady, I think 3.30. As you can also see, you can see the, the imprints that Garrett made in his expedition last night. If you guys didn't go see that video, you guys just need to go see it. So yeah, it's so warm out. Like it's crazy how all the snow and you just get like 50 degree weather, guys. I just don't, I just don't get Colorado's logic with that. But hey, it works for me. Hold up, I think I forgot something. We're still in there. Honestly, right now I feel like I'm doing a drug deal, which I'm not. I'm selling freaking Legos, okay? Legos were my childhood. Why why give them away when you can make moolah? You got the product, I got the product. We got the Legos, I got the Lego. Lego. Well, she wasn't too bad. She was actually really friendly. She admired my my diligence in selling stuff, which is good. Yeah, I'm headed back home because I just ran into town real quick to do that. Look at this wet mess out here, guys. It looks like it just rained. If you didn't look at the snow, it just looked like it rained on these roads. It's ridiculous. I just, it's amazing how Colorado can like literally just change within hours, if not minutes. Like one time, I'm trying to think, oh, I should probably stop, I gotta. Like I was saying, like, I think it was last year in May, I think it, about eight o'clock in the morning, it started snowing. Is This is in May in Colorado. It, it, it wasn't like a, big snowstorm, but I mean, still, it snows in May, like that's just, I think the temperature, like eight o'clock was like third, I think it was like 20, I don't even know, it was, it was like mid 20s, lower 34 or three, it was already 85 degrees, and that was the biggest uh, temperature swing we've had, and like, I think, I, I don't even know if it's the country, I, it might, might even be the world, I don't, I don't know, just insane how Colorado can just, like, just go so, from being so stu like stupidly cold to like stupidly warm and stupidly cold again, and then just in like a matter of seconds, like I just don't get it. Okay, guys. So I don't I don't know if you guys know this, but um, so the Super Bowl it was awesome. Obviously, the Broncos won. Broncos. Everybody is complaining about the way. Akib Talib acted in the Super Bowl. I just wanted to talk about like behavior issues, stuff like that. It's like, I, one sec, let me, let me get a better mount going up here. Okay, so obviously I know like Akib Talib, it's like, he he's debatably, well now obviously he's probably debatably one of the best corners in the league. I mean, yeah, I agree, He's he is fantastic and stuff, but honestly, Football isn't more just about skill or like how how you can tackle somebody or whatever. We all know that Aqib Talib had multiple penalties on him on defense in the Super Bowl if you watched it. Anyway, Aqib Talib got three or four penalties and added up to like 35 yards or something like that. Which, that's pretty substantial. There, there were stupid penalties like unnecessary roughness, um, taunting, and just... If I was a head coach, which I... I'm 99.99999% sure that I will never be an NFL head coach affiliated with any part of the NFL. I would possibly, maybe if it wasn't the Super Bowl, I would possibly take him out for the rest of the game. Especially if he, what, what he did. It's just, I, Gary Kubiak, I get it, you know, it's the Super Bowl, you really want your best players in there and stuff. But then it's also another thing to lose the game, but then also learn the lessons from that. Peyton Manning, after 
he won lost to Super Bowl 48 against the Seahawks in 2014. 13. Yeah, 13. Honestly saying, hey, we're just gonna come back from this and we're gonna learn better. We're gonna do this stuff. But then if you watch Cam Newton's video of him at the press conference after it, he looks like a hooded rat. He has his hood on, you know, he's slumped back in his chair. Like he's not even trying. But then I also have to go with him on that side because it's like the media was asking him questions that he already answered like five or six times. Another clip of Cam Newton was him literally collapsing on the sideline after his offense or defense did a horrible thing. He just collapsed on the sideline. If you guys saw it on live TV, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Honestly, that is not the way you should be acting. I mean, I get it. I mean, you're on the Super Bowl. Like, I couldn't even imagine what it would be like to be on the Super Bowl, let alone I'm making freaking YouTube videos and I only have 50 subscribers. So it's like, I, I, I don't even know what it's like to be on that big of a stage, but I do know this. If you can control your emotions and stuff like this, a lot of people will think better of you. So that that's what I have to say about all that fun stuff. But honestly, nonetheless, the Super Bowl was an awesome game. Obviously, it was for the Broncos fans. It was a total shutout, if you ask me. Um, the Broncos defense was A+. Plus. Offense was a C-, minus. you know? It, the offense didn't do anything, honestly, in the game, I didn't think.